Hello everyone and welcome to Cryptography Home. In this video, I'll be explaining the Alphine Cipher. So what is Alphine Cipher? An Alphine Cipher is simply an algorithm of the form EX is equal to AX plus B. And like the other crypto systems that we'll be looking at, this one will also be working in mode 26. So in this cipher, X is simply the numerical equivalence of a plain text letter. So like we saw in the previous videos, when we're encrypting, first of all, we'll have to encode the letter. So X is simply the numerical equivalence. And A and B are two integers that will be also operating in this cipher. So these two integers form the encryption key in this case. So like we saw in the Julius Caesar cipher, we only had one key. But then in the Alphine cipher, we have two keys. So the key is a key pair. For example, we could have... 5 and 8 as a key pair or 3 and 6 as our key pair. So like we said, in the case that uh, the key pair is 5 comma 8, it means that the cipher or the algorithm will be the encryption of x is equal to 5x plus 8 more 26. So affine cipher is just as simple as that. So before we look at examples, let's go straight to look at encoding. So like we've been saying in the other videos, we'll be using the encoding mechanism for mode 26 as well, where A is 0, B is 1, and so on and so forth. So this is the encoding mechanism that we'll be using for our letters. So let us proceed. Let us uh, proceed with a simple example. Let's say you want to encrypt the message crypto using the key pair 5,3. This means that our A is 5 and our B is 5. In this case, the algorithm becomes auto-encrypt. We use the formula 5x plus b mode 26. So the next thing to do is, first of all, we write what the plain text is. So the plain text is C-R-Y-P-T-O. And then we have to come up with the numerical equivalence of the plain text. So our x, like I said, is simply the numerical equivalence. And if you look at the table that I showed before, C is a 2, R is a 17, Y is a 24. So that is how we are encoding based on this table right here. So now that we have the numerical equivalence, the next thing is to simply multiply 5 to that. So we are multiplying 5 and adding 3. So the next step is 5x plus 3. So as you can see, this algorithm pretty much explains itself. So we do this for each and every term in this. So 5... Uh, 5 times 2 plus 3 and we do that for all the other numbers and the last thing that is remaining is to translate uh, This these numbers to in mode 26 So like I said mode 26 will simply get the remainder after dividing by mode after dividing by 26 So we looked at mode in the previous videos in this case uh, the remainder after dividing 13 by 26 is 13 the same with 80, 88 the remainder after dividing by 26 is 10 and so on and so forth and the last thing that is remaining is to simply translate this back into the uh, letters so we use the same table to translate this to the equivalent letters so using alpha in cipher it means that the message crypto is encrypted to NKTAUV so encryption is as simple as this when you're using the alpha in cipher the next thing that we're looking at is the decryption process for affine cipher. So we've already looked at encryption and as you can see it is very simple. So we should recall that to encrypt an element x the formula is simply ax plus b and like I said a and b are a and b is our encryption pair and this encryption will lead us to the cipher text element which is y. So in other words when we are decrypting we're simplifying the decryption of y which is derived after we have encrypted. So the cipher text element is represented as y. Another way to represent this is the inverse of the encryption of y. So decryption, we can either write dy or we can use this other notation. So to encrypt, you may recall that, like I said, ex is equal to this, which is equal to y. So y is equal to ax plus b uh, mod 26. But then to come up with the decryption formula, we have to make x the subject of the formula which means uh, when we get x, it means that we have arrived back to the original plain text element. So the first thing will be to subtract b on both sides. So y minus b is equal to ax plus b minus b, which means b has been eliminated from this part. And the next thing will be to uh, make ax the subject of the formula. So y minus b is equal to ax mod 6, and ax is just the, this is just the same as saying ax is equal to y minus b mod 6. So saying uh, 10 is equal to 0 mod 10 is just the same as saying 
0 is equal to 10 more 10. So this is what we've simply done on this segment. And the next thing will be to eliminate this A. So for us to eliminate the A, we have to multiply both sides by the inverse of A. So when you multiply something by its inverse, it simply gives us 1, as we've seen in the last video. So by doing so, we are able to eliminate the X, the A. So we have X is equal to A inverse times Y minus B. So the A inverse is acting on this entire uh, segment on the right side, which means that by doing so, we have arrived at the original plain text message. So the decryption of Y is simply equal to uh, A inverse times Y minus B more 26 since this gives us or it arrives back to the original plain text element and by doing so we have uh, derived the decryption formula so to make things a little bit more clear let us look at a decryption example and in this example we'll be trying to decrypt the original message using the same key so we encrypted crypto and refined the cipher text to be this NKTAUV so we have to try to decrypt it using the decryption formula so to decrypt it, since our A is 5, like as the formula suggests, we have to use the inverse of A, and then we are subtracting, this time around we are subtracting B, and our B is still 3. So the first thing that we have to do is to find the inverse of 5. So to find the inverse of 5, we'll use the Euler 5 function. So I already explained what the Euler 5 algorithm is in the last video. So for those of you who do not know, you can check that video out just to have a brief picture on how we'll be using the Euler 5 function to encrypt. So like we said in the last uh, video, the first thing that we do is to find the greatest common divisor of 26 and 5. So the first thing will be to express 26 in terms of 5. So 26 is equal to 5 times 5, which is the biggest integer that we can multiply to 5, plus 1. And then the next thing will be to express 5 in terms of 1, as we have been, as we have been doing in the last video. So 5 is equal to 5 times 1 plus 0. And like we said, uh, the greatest common divisor is simply the element that is above the 0. So in this case, the greatest common divisor of 26 and 5 is 1. So this proves that uh, 5 has an inverse in mode 26. And like I said, for those of you who do not understand this, you should check out the last video so that you have a clear picture on how the Euler 5 function works. So to get the inverse of 5, we'll use the first equation and we'll make 1 the subject of the formula. So this follows that 1 is equal to 26 minus 5 times 5. So we've simply made 1 the subject of the formula. But like I said already, any multiple of 26 is equal to 0 in mode 26 because uh, when you divide 26 by 26, the remainder is 0. So all multiples of 26 are 0 which means it's just the same as saying that 1 is equal to negative 5 times 5. So 1 is just equal to negative 1 times 5 since we're working at mode 26, which follows that since 1 is equal to negative 5 times 5, the inverse of 5 is simply negative 5. And like I said before, the inverse of an element is simply the element that when you multiply with it, it gives you an answer of 1. So since when you multiply negative 5 to 5, you're able to get back to the 1 which is the identity element then the inverse of 5 is simply negative 5. At this stage what's left is for us to resolve negative 5 into an actual uh, positive integer. So we have to change negative 5 to its positive integer. So like I said in the previous videos when you're working in mode 26 we can represent elements from 0 to 25 but another alternative way is to use negative. So when you're using the negative notation we start from the end. So z is just the same as negative 1, y is negative 2, and so on and so forth. So you start from the last element going backwards. Just like uh, Python lists, for those of you who know Python, the same way is also applied in mode 26 when we're dealing with cryptography. Which means that negative 5 is just the same as 21 since we're working in mode 26. So this shows that the inverse of 5 in mode 26 is 21. Now that we've calculated the inverse, the next step is to simply use it in the equation. Therefore, this follows that the decryption of an element y is simply equal to 21 times y minus 3 more 26, where 21 is the inverse of 5 and 3 is the b that we used. So just like we did with encryption, we'll also apply the same process when we're decrypting. The first thing will be to list out the cipher text. So this is the cipher text that we came up with. So the next thing will be to uh, show the numerical values of the cipher text, which is y. 
So in this case, n is 13, k is 10. So these are the numerical values of these uh, letters as we showed in the table. So we just have to subtract 3 from that. So the next thing is to subtract 3. So this is just basic mathematics. And as you can see, when we subtract neg uh, 3 from 0, we get a negative 3. But using the negative notation, we can also simply represent this as 23. Since from the table, uh, a negative 3 is also positive 23, like we explained. So in this case, where we get a negative, we can simply replace it by its positive value. So the next thing will, is to just multiply uh, 21 as the algorithm shows. So we're simply multiplying every element by 21. And the last thing will be to convert this to mod 26. So we get the remainder of each of these elements after dividing by 26. In this case, the remainder of 210 is 2, of 147 is 17, and so on and so forth. So as the last step, we'll simply convert it using the encoding mechanism. So as we saw from the diagram, uh, from the table, 2 is 7, 17 is R, uh, 24 is Y, and so on and so forth. Which means when we decrypt this uh, text, NKTAUV, we're able to get back to our original uh, plain text message, which is crypto. So this just shows that the uh, decryption algorithm is actually uh, is actually what's listed here. So this is the actual decryption algorithm in this case. So just as a conclusion, when we're encrypting X, the formula is AX plus B more 26, and this gives us the cipher text element. And remember, A and B are two integers that we can uh, come up with ourselves. So when we're encrypting with the affine cipher, we use what is known as a key pair. And the decryption algorithm is simply the inverse of A and multiplied with Y minus P in mode 26. So all in all, this is just the alpha in cipher. And having reached this far, this is the end of the video. So for those of you who enjoyed the video, you can like the video. And you, could, you should subscribe if you'd like to see more cryptography videos. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.